All right, guys, let's take apart the Samsung Galaxy A80. First, let's remove the SIM tray. Now go ahead and heat the back plate up so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath. First, manually push up the camera assembly, and then you can get your pry tool in the corner and work your way around. There's also some strong adhesive underneath over here. You're gonna have to use a plastic card or something long enough to be able to reach and pry it off. So at this point, you can get a glimpse of the mechanism for the camera. Okay, make sure you pull the camera fully up so you can reveal this hidden screw right over here. And then remove the 14 Phillips screws. Let's remove the top cover. Now we're going to disconnect the battery cable. There are a couple wire cables we need to disconnect as well. And we have one more cable running from the main board down to the the speaker assembly and charger port. Disconnect that. And now let's disconnect the cable for the motor that runs the camera assembly up and down. There are two black plastic covers over here. Go ahead and remove those. You have a total of six Phillips screws you have to remove for the camera assembly. Once you remove these two over here, it will free the motor from the assembly so the assembly will freely go up and down. And removing the two screws on either side on the arms for the assembly will release the assembly so you could slide it all the way up. You have five Phillips screws holding down the main board. All right, here's the back side of the main board. We're gonna disconnect these two cables coming from the camera assembly, which are attached to the main board. Here are the levers that rotate the cameras. Okay, now you have to pry off the top panel over here covering the camera assembly. Remove the eight Phillips screws holding the black covers down. So now you can see over here inside these two flex cables rotate with the camera when the lever goes up and down. It's just wrap around pretty much. All right now we're going to disconnect those two cables. We have one more cable to disconnect right here. And then you got four more Phillips screws you need to remove. Okay now finally we can remove this from the housing. Here have your cameras. And here you can see the small gear working on the side, like a small little factory. But wait, there's more. If you thought you were done with screws, I don't think so. You got two more on this side, and you got two on this side to remove to actually get access to the cameras themselves. And if you actually want to remove this mechanism over here, you also have two screws you have to remove over here. One's right there, and one's right there to get this whole portion separated from the metal part. Now one thing to note, the screws on the camera housing itself right here, they're the new tri-tip or tri-wing screws, so it's not a regular Phillips screw. Alright, once you remove those tri-tip or tri-wing screws, you can lift up this cover, but be careful because the cables are attached underneath. So here are the cameras. Um, here's underneath it. Now back to the phone itself. We're going to remove the bottom cover. So here's the speaker assembly underneath the bottom cover right there. We're going to disconnect this cable right here. You have your fingerprint reader cable right here. Disconnect that. You have your screen cable right over here. Go ahead and disconnect that. And you have two wire cables here. Pop those off. Now you have one Phillips screw located here. Once you remove that, you can lift up and remove the charger port board down here. 
So here you have your SIM reader right there and your charger port right here. Now you have two more Phillips screws right here holding down the fingerprint reader. Now I mean this phone has a lot of screws but at least I'm happy. I'd rather take screws over like adhesive or glued down stuff. I mean it's just a mess and trying to put things back together. And this is the first phone I personally worked on that the fingerprint reader isn't glued down and you can replace it if you need to. Now once those two screws are out, you just lift up the fingerprint reader. And here you have it. Now as far as the battery goes, there's some adhesive underneath it holding it down. I'm not going to attempt to remove it because when it comes to Samsung and batteries, I pretty much want to stay away from that. I mean I could take the time and remove it, but there's no point. There's nothing really hiding underneath it. So you got this plastic tab over here which underneath has some sort of like an antenna connection or something and you got a square thermal pad right here that sits underneath the board you have your vibrator motor right over here your volume keys and your power button the clickers underneath are sitting on this black tab right here you could pull those off the cables are right underneath over here these gold contacts make a connection with the board same over here for the power button as far as replacing the screen goes, you have the cable right over here that runs through the frame. So you'd have to heat the front up and loosen up the adhesive and pry the screen off. And then get your new screen, run the cable through and reapply it to the front with new adhesive. Alright, now it's time to put this whole thing back together. Reapply the back plate. Power on the phone. And here's the camera. See, it flips around. I'll take the back plate off again, just to show you guys. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.